Number 9. McDonald's You probably weren't expecting a fast food restaurant to quote, have more power than you could imagine, but don't be fooled by those golden arches. McDonald's is a global brand, and it has a lot of influence over people whether you realize it or not. For example, you might think the United States is a place where most of its revenue is derived since the restaurant chain got its start in Illinois, but that's not true. Over 80% of its revenue comes from foreign nations like Canada, Japan, the UK, and more. Though to be clear, yes, the United States still is a major contributor to McDonald's sales, it's not the sole reason for its wealth. The other thing to note here is that because it was the restaurant that quote, introduced fast food to the world, it's the brand that people go and trust the most. Even McDonald's executives note that it's not trying to be the biggest fast food brand, but the best fast food brand. People trust them to make burgers, fries, and more, and a lot of the time what they do influences what other fast food chains do in order to quote, stop their monopoly. McDonald's serves tens of millions of people every day, and they make tens of billions of dollars every single year. Not not bad for a burger joint, wouldn't you say? Number 8. Coca-Cola While originally starting out with a beverage used for headache relief in 1886, the company behind Coca-Cola has become a corporate conglomerate, taking over the world with their famous bubbly drinks. The history of Coca-Cola is a bit odd. You may have heard the rumor that the original Coke contained the actual drug named cocaine, hence the drink's name. This actually turns out to be true. The very first Coca-Cola products had trace amounts of cocaine in them, about 9 milligrams per bottle in fact. The drug was added because it was thought to cure opium addiction. Thankfully, since 1903, Coca-Cola's products no longer contain any cocaine, although the taste of their drinks is still described as addicting. The Coca-Cola company is much bigger than you might think. They control over 400 brands in the drink industry, ones you might recognize such as Minute Maid, Dasani Water, and Powerade, just to name a few, and many, many more. The products they produce reach over 200 countries and territories, making them the largest beverage company in the world. And it's estimated that over 50 billion servings of their products are consumed per day. That's a lot of power considering it started out as one little bottle on a shelf. Number 7. SpaceX We go now from soft drinks to space! Elon Musk is one of the most recognizable billionaires starting with his company Tesla. But today we're not talking about the cars he builds, but the space company he built. You see, Elon Musk is a futurist, and he's someone who believes wholeheartedly that we need to look outside our planet and towards space for humanity to grow and thrive. The problem though is that when it came to space in the year 2001, cue the music, space was not that important in the eyes of NASA, nor the US government who slashed NASA's budget big time and put any chance of getting us into space again at virtually zero. So he decided to try and con them into getting a bigger budget so that a race to Mars could begin. The irony, after failing to get rockets from Russia, where else was he going to get them, Elon realized that he could honestly use more off-the-shelf parts and make his own to create rockets that would be much cheaper and easier to make than anything NASA could do. Thus, SpaceX was born, and nearly 20 years later, it's still going strong and influencing everything space-related in one form or another. For example, while NASA did get that budget boost Elon wanted, they still rely on SpaceX for building things for them rather than building them themselves. This includes the numerous crafts that SpaceX has built to take materials and people to the International Space Station. Elon has grown SpaceX so much that he's honestly considering making a whole town called Starbase around the company facility in Texas, and he is very much in the lead in regards to going and putting someone on Mars. So he went from trying to get NASA off their butts to having them basically begging for help from his better company. That's power. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome! Thanks for checking us out. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Walmart. Many of you likely expected Walmart to be here, and it's not hard to see why. When you think of shopping centers where you can get just about anything, Walmart is the one you think of about first, which is the reason why they've averaged over half a trillion dollars in revenue over the last decade or so. That's insane. What's more, they're a company that expands themselves in all the ways that matter to them. 
They have stores internationally, they sell products all over the place, and from all over the world, and they went from having basic stores to having super centers that are open 24 hours a day. In a way, this is like the physical version of Amazon, and it's hard to deny their success because they focus on getting things to the consumer cheaply and in bulk. And that ends up helping them bring in more customers, even if those customers don't know all the details about what the company is doing. Every week, 150 million customers visit its stores, website, and app, and with all the sales they do, they're not just influencing other stores to set up, they're putting pressure on all sorts of places. Because similar to Amazon, Walmart pushes their workers hard and has fired them for, quote, not keeping pace, despite the fact that they did work hard. They're also the kind of company that isn't afraid to use child labor overseas, though they obviously deny this, in order to keep costs low and their profits high. They affect whole countries full of laborers as well as customers, and they have no intention of slowing down anytime soon. Number 5. Apple Once upon a time, when computer technology was still young, there were two major companies trying to sell you computer devices to use in your home. One of them was Apple, and for a time, this was their bread and butter. But as their founder and visionary Steve Jobs grew to see the potential of technology as a whole, he realized that they weren't going to be able to just sell computers, especially with certain other companies offering cheaper and more, quote, down-to-earth models they needed to diversify which led to Apple becoming one of the most popular and profitable companies in the world. They make hundreds of billions of dollars every single year, and they continue to try and innovate where it counts, and that is where their power lies. Because when people hear that Apple has a new innovation, like with the iPod or iTunes, the iPad or the iPhone, in all its many versions, they start talking and the tech world waits with bated breath to see what they have in store for them. Even without Steve Jobs, may he rest in peace, Apple continues to go and grow their brand to encompass all walks of technological life, and through that, they are able to do more and be more than most other tech companies. Few, if any, have the buzz that Apple has when a new product comes out, and so they truly dominate the tech world. Number 4. Microsoft What's there to say about Microsoft? They are in many ways the boss of making good computers, but they also know that they're needed in other ways as well. They are the creators of the Xbox system that is now former generation strong. They've helped develop TV shows and movies and are constantly changing technology to better adapt to society and its needs. Even though Bill Gates isn't the head honcho there anymore, the company's name has a serious weight and their hardware, software, and various platforms are always growing and expanding so that they will never be left behind. Many look to Microsoft as a blueprint of sorts and it's hard not to see why. Number 3. Tesla. And now we head to Elon Musk's other mega company, Tesla. Despite what people think, Elon Musk did not create this company. However, he was a key investor in it and eventually became their CEO, spokesperson, and the man driving it forward. The reason they're more powerful than you realize is that this company spent about 15 years not making money. And when they did, it took the world not only by complete surprise, but it changed how we look at the automotive industry as a whole. What Tesla does is make electric cars, and they do it very well. To this day, they're still the torchbearer for what electric cars can and should be. And Elon Musk's dream is to not only get electric cars in the hands of the vast majority of people, but to help protect the planet by making cars that have zero emissions, which his electric cars honestly do. And furthering its influence all over the rest of the world, Elon has made deals with nations like China to help get scores of electric cars to the people of the nation, even building one of his massive factories there currently. And then there's all the other car makers. Because before Tesla really hit big with their vehicles, a lot of other car manufacturers didn't dare to make these kinds of cars. But now, pretty much all of them are doing it in one form or another, and it's changing everything. Plus, as if all of that wasn't enough, Elon is still trying to make his vehicles more efficient, less costly, and overall a greater ride. And based on certain reviews, his cars are hard to beat. Number 2. Facebook. It'd be odd not to mention the social media platform on this list, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Facebook is the social network, pun intended, that is meant to connect you with the world. And to be fair, it does just that. But the problem is that its worldwide access and style of doing business has led to it becoming a bit more powerful and invasive than people want. That's why creator Mark Zuckerberg has been called in front of Congress because of his system and the hacks that have been done on it. Not to mention he sold ad space to just about anyone who wants it, and that's why Facebook is a far cry from what it used to be. 
and yet people still use it, they use it in droves, and it drives up his business and his revenues. Facebook has a lot of power because of its users and what they post, and barring its shutdown, that won't stop. Number 1. Disney Finally, we have the mega corporation that well and truly owns much of the entertainment world, Disney. Yes, we speak of the House of Mouse, a house that almost wasn't built because of the debt that Walt Disney went into to make his first feature film. But build it he did, and long after his death, his company became the leading entertainment giant in virtually every way. The biggest thing that everyone talks about when it comes to Disney is how they make so much money that they can spend billions to buy, well, just about anything they want. They own popular TV stations like ABC and ESPN, and they bought their biggest animation rival in Amazon to basically hold a monopoly on quality animation films. And if that wasn't enough, they bought out Marvel Comics and then helped start Marvel Studios to make the unprecedented success that was and is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a universe that has made them countless billions. Then, when all of that wasn't enough, they bought Lucasfilm so that they control the Star Wars saga. They brought it in, cranked out a bunch of movies with mixed responses from fans and critics, made even more billions, then put Star Wars on their Disney Plus platform, and suddenly they're making a legion of new Star Wars shows. Still not enough? To further consolidate power, they bought 21st Century Fox, which means they have even more channels to control, as well as loads of content to use however they want. Disney is a literal empire of entertainment, and we haven't even talked about all the other things they own, like theme parks, YouTube channels, and more. Many legitimately fear that they'll become a monopoly of content, and some would argue they already are. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these powerful companies? Did you know about any of them before watching this video? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time on the Board Badger.